our new journey to Victron Energy. Before assembling all these parts, I want to show you what is inside a MultiPlus 248-3000VA 35-amp AC transformer cap capacity 50-amp inverter 120 volt. So this is the build. So now I'm taking you into the journey and see what's inside. I already unplugged the wire, so don't panic about it. So this is all what it's comprised of. This is a huge or massive transformer here. And it's ridiculously huge. So what happened here, this is the, uh, the connection for this little board that turns on and off or give the indication uh, kind of ribbon cable and it's plugged to this blue um, socket right there so the technology when it comes to Victron is not huge it's smart intelligent you know very creative so they can do all kind of stuff to make things work perfectly Look at the board. It's just a little board. Anything you can, even a PC board is bigger compared to what Victron has assembled here or created here or put together, all together. But the main component, this is a low frequency transformer. It's all set up. It's ready to go. And it's just unbelievable what this transformer can do. Here are some of the specs on the corner. Okay. And um, what I've noticed, because I didn't buy this trans, uh, I'm sorry, this inverter uh, brand new. This is um, a refurbished. So I'm going to make it clear. It's a refurbished, a factory refurbished. And um, I'm still happy with it. And um, got an awesome deal with that. Maybe something happened which um, they did some modification or maybe um, something went bad and they installed or maybe software upgrade for some reason. But when I look at it, I don't know if it's like a bolt or not supposed to be here and they are not here. That's supposed to be holding the transformer, but the transformer is uh, kind of sturdy, doesn't go anywhere. I don't know if it's uh, nuts, but I can see some kind of... Like a shredded, a shredded uh, nut or flange, something that used to be here. I can see it kind of little eat up, and um, I can see like um, these little plastics where you can see that kind of a little bit alteration right here. I don't know, maybe they changed the transformer. So something of this nature is the M6 or M8 nuts that's supposed to be here. I don't know. I was gonna do um, replace that with some uh, threaded or whatever uh, nylon thread or maybe uh, M8 or M6 whatever it is here maybe they forgot to put them back so due to some mechanic or electrical technician whatever being lazy they want to do that kind of stuff and um, I don't want to just do that whatever upgrade they did maybe they put a new transformer which is not going anywhere I'm shaking it and I'm just gonna leave it the way it is as long as it doesn't affect the stability it does not affect the uh, functionality of the one old business let it stay like that well this is the journey it has a huge fan I don't know if it's a 25 millimeter or whatever it is and I hope I can get a specs for you guys right there and you can see that cools the transformer is a 24 volt uh, it takes only um, half an amp very close to half and half 0.32 amps so to cool this transformer massive transformer in this place which is this guy right here so he's sucking the, the air from the back or the bottom feeding it all the way here and there's an exhaust vent okay takes the hot air out so this is the one old technology about Victron it has an on and off switch 
turn it up here it's a on button the middle is off down here is for charging and in here you can see you have this kind of um, boot I can call them as a kind of eh, plastic boots or whatever and uh, you can cut this according to your size your um, wire size or dimension then you can just get it's gonna be snugly nice and neat and this side here you can see we have AC output 1 AC output 2 and AC input all right this output if you connect you you have to connect to this one that gives you a constant power output anytime you want something like a fridge microwave any other stand anything you want to run this guy can just give you the power instantaneous and this other guy here is for we have to connect to the AC which is a grid power generator or whatever source of power coming in this guy here is going to give you a supplement this is just a guy that's supposed to be giving you alternative or a substituting power instead of the inverters like a bypass so this one can go like a heavy loads like um, um let me say uh heat pump air conditioning or well you know a submassive pump whatever it is you can use that here so that means the secondary feed from this guy here that means the power comes from the main grid or your ac inputs whatever it is a generator so it backs up this guy right here the ac2 or else it's not going to read any output no power if you don't connect any ac here it's not going to be nothing here so this one is the main primary one that gives you the power all the time and uh here we can have some place here you can use for relays stuff and here is the main positive and negative um, terminals okay and um, right here you can see there is a jumper if you remove this one you can able to control this unit from a remote area that you can just connect two wires that gives you um, able to turn this inverter on and off now it has a bypass you can see or jumper to create the the loop so that you can able to turn the thing on the app or whatever device you want to use it for so here you can see is a, a sense a port for your temperature sensors but if you're using a lithium batteries you don't have to utilize this one at all because you can use like another temperature sensor I have it somewhere that you can tie on your batteries if you're using a flooded acid battery AGMs they need that kind of sensor but for lithium batteries they're not, they don't require any of these guys at all for here is you can see another aux which is auxiliary, auxiliary. you can use it for your BMS's um, if um, you have uh, BMS compatible with this or maybe it's supposed to be triggering your BMS boards to get it working all right so here sorry I, I made a mistake here first here is uh, for a relay for a dry contact generator if you want to start your generator this is a dry contact the blue one here it is it's, um, responsible for um, sending a signal to your relay so that you can this inverter can able to start your generator so you can able to you don't have to go out there and start the generator anymore so it's all uh, connected and um, you can see we have some um, fasteners here they can able to hold the wires intact even if you try to yank them it's not gonna go anywhere because you have to um, clip the, 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 the ceramic cable or whatever um, you call it and uh, it's holding it in place can't go anywhere so any of these guys correspond to something this one and this one here and this one here to this one that to this block right here okay so they made provision for everything even this little guy the jumper can come to this boot right here and you can see these other guys are all responsible for these guys here and here 
Um, uh, other thing about these guys here, Victron don't put any nuts or bolts or whatever you can fasten your your wires, the AC in, AC out. So you have to use um, uh, what is it called? Ferrules. So you have to use a ferrule. You cannot just use a regular wire because it's kind of like a, a stringed or whatever. It has all these little fins on it. You can't able to shove this thing in here and activate this block to hold the wire. So you have to put um, um, uh, ferrules. I think I have a ferrule somewhere I can show you. Stay tuned. Anyway, I can show you back on the next video. But ferrules, they are kind of like ribbed like a ribbon or ribbed, you know, um, it has some kind of uh, lines on them. When they, when you put the ferrules, it's gonna make it really tougher and just push it all the way in. And when you push it, it's gonna click and click and hold it down. It's not gonna go anywhere anymore. Okay, if you're trying to yank it, it's not gonna come, come out. If you wanna release that cable now, there's, you see this little, little, little dots right here. You have to use a little flat screwdriver. And that's what you do and push this thing and open up this top cover right here. There's a thing there you can able to um, uh, inject there so that you can able to release the wire back. But as soon as you hold it, it's not going to go anywhere. It stays there. So right here you can see a VE bus and you see a Victor Energy bus. So you can able to use either one of these that goes to your... A servo GX and you can use this other one to uh, link another second inverter to connect it in parallel so here is a current sense plug right here to show um, whatever you want to do on your next project so Victron these are all the specs right here I can show you watch this it's a 48 volt 3000 VA volt amp and 35 amps to 50 amps charging on 120 volts. So you can go 52, 52.8 or 57.8 volts. This um, inverter can tolerate and in the AC can go back, which is a standard, but you can go back here. And you can able to charge your batteries, bring them up from, let me get this focus here, from 38 to 66 volts. This is the reason why I bought this inverter. Because I have some batteries that can go about 66, 67 volts. I want to utilize the full potential of those batteries, which is uh, um, uh, Chrysler Pacifica batteries. These are LG batteries. I can able to use them. Plus, the other batteries I just showed you guys are LG Chem and um, um sorry yeah i think it's an lg cam and uh, i can able to link those batteries they are 16s configuration 16 volt configuration so i can able to charge you see the specification right there all the way to 66 volt i think it's a 66 if you can see it properly right here Yeah, up to 66 volts. I just proved that and you can able to go that high or you can stop at 57 point something eight. So this is the Victron, the big magic. The guy himself, he gets some big, I don't know if you call them, is a choke or something, whatever. Right there. So they work in conjunction with the transformer right here. And I uh, suppose it's uh, like a heat sink down here. And um, it's just awesome. Built. Simple. Simple, simple, simple technology. But it's very, very sophisticated. Very, very reliable. I don't know if this is a relay. Okay. It's part of that that works with, I think, is the transformer. Or with a fan here, which is a 24 volt. I think that's where the 24 volt uh, came to play. Okay. I don't know. Okay, 54 amps, 250. I don't know. 
yeah it says it's 24 volts right there so maybe it powers part of that to work with this fan right here and any of the other little dc whatever it is um i'm not a circuitry guy so um, I'm just trying to uh, show or explain what I've seen or according to manual and um, we go from there simple technology look at the room inside big space you know you can run around here <laughs> you have a little hamster running around here free space they can hide there make some nest or whatever but yeah that transformer gets a lot of empty room or space where it can dissipate the heat well wow this is cool look at the board it's just so small compared to even a pc board yeah i'm so thrilled well anyway thanks victron for your um your work ingenuity and all with your layout things are very simple to understand and you can make any technician who is wise enough to fix this thing? Everything is computer thing now. You can just remove boards. Look at this, just like uh, those um, modems they used to have back in the day, dial in modem They're on a PC. You can yank this thing out. You can take this guy out. They're all boards and get things done. Replacing the transformer is a good thing, really quick. Get the same compatible transformer. Take this one out, drop the other one in, connect them right there. Voila, all done. Well, that's what it is. That's what it is. We are moving on. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Stay tuned for all you want to see on this channel. 2023. Welcome. And thanks, Victron. If you find this video very interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share. And bye for now.